Hello, I've just got back from the supermarket and the butcher shop picking up my fortnightly order and it's very warm here in Brisbane today so I'm lucky I turned the air conditioner on in the house before I left otherwise I'd be melting. So I um, did things a little bit differently um, in this shop, just topped up on a lot of salad ingredients. Um, we've been having some really hot weather so going to plan on a few more salads and lighter style meals for dinner plus picking up a few things for Christmas lunch so the next grocery shop isn't going to be so high um, a, a little gift I got and then I didn't buy my meat from Coles today um, I said it last fortnight and I didn't buy any meat but we managed to get by with what I had but comparing the prices to my local uh, butcher shop, it is um, it is a butcher shop, but they sell everything um, pre-packed. Um, it's less than half the price for the meat, so I'm just going to try and do that from now on, is just buy my meat from there. But anyway, I'll show you what I got in um, this fortnight's order. I got half a papaya, um, mint and coriander for Thai-style um, dishes, Tomatoes, red capsicum, my favourite baby cos lettuce because they last a lot longer than the iceberg lettuce. Brown onions, bananas for smoothies, cherry tomatoes, just half a cabbage. I did buy a whole one, um, not last fortnight, the fortnight before, but it was so big and it took me like about six weeks to get through it and it did keep I guess but it's starting to sort of go a little bit funny after six weeks so I figured it was more economical for me just to buy a small amount so that I don't waste it and I got a cucumber I bought the family size pack of um, tortillas 20 that will probably do us um, three meals and once I open this pack I'll just keep them in the freezer um, they, they were the cheapest way to buy the tortillas uh, for Christmas lunch we probably will have a seafood platter so I've bought these crumbed frozen crumbed prawn cutlets and crumbed squid rings which just heat up in the oven and they've been uh, really good quality from the past um, two litre boxes of long life milk I'm out of dried basil coleslaw dressing tartare sauce for Christmas I bought this um, for my son for Christmas um, just as a little gift that was on special I like the Sukin um, brand of products um, cream for potato salad that's what I use in my dressing for potato salad um, Greek style yogurt a, a staple um, this regular spread even though I do prefer butter it's actually got um, quite a good health rating on it and that will probably last me about two months it lasts really well and we don't use very much of it, so for $1.60 for a kilo, it's really good value. Got my kilo of bacon. This is, um, I find, very, very good quality. There's no rind on it. Um, if there is, there's only a tiny little bit. It's very, um, well, that looks a little bit fatty, but um, it's usually very low in fat. Um, topping up on toilet paper. I thought I may have run out before the next shop, so I've stocked up on that now loaf of bread and some bread, bread rolls for burgers and then the meat I got um, I got a pack of this um, restaurant quality rump steak now I've got meat from this butcher before Australian selected meats and it is restaurant quality they do sell um, wholesale but um, for $17.99 a kilo that's way more than what I would like to usually spend on meat I try to keep it at $10 a kilo but from memory it was like about $37 a kilo for rump steak at Coles so it's kind of um, around half price and that's a couple of meals there there's two large pieces of rump in there then they had these crumbed um, chicken breast schnitzels they're like a full breast that's been butterflied in um, crumbs and they were only $9.99 a kilo. I didn't plan on buying a roast, but for $7.99 for a pork leg boneless, whether we decide to have this for my husband's birthday lunch, 
on the 23rd of December or just to have it in the freezer. Um, I couldn't refuse the price at that. And then I got two packs of um, chicken breasts. I think there's four in a pack and they were only $7.99 a kilo as well. So the meat came to about $55 and the groceries came to about $90 from memory. So I'll um, add it all up and put it on the next slide. So that's probably about $145 for the groceries, which is um, doesn't leave me much for topping up um, next week. But with the last week of school, next week I probably won't need a lot of school lunch things. Um, and, you know, I do have quite a, a good stock pantry for everything that I need. So I was really only topping up on meat and um, fresh fruit and vegetables. So that's my order for this fortnight. Thank you.